Okay, I decided since my uh, family at the moment is not here, I came home and they're out. Let's record a few videos and finally get to the League D jersey reviews. Um, again, I did not get all the jerseys and I probably will make a big round of video after Nations League finishes and I probably will not post even those while the Nations League is on, although maybe I get to them a few. Know that they already double, also double up for Euro qualifying. So, you know, it's not an absolutely lost cause, although I say Nations League jersey review. If there will be new jerseys issued next year, of course I will get to it. But let's get right to it. I digged uh, to some find some of these jerseys and now I'm going to go uh, again group by group. Each group gets its own video. And I also will go alphabetically uh, because it's just easy to arrange and so in the group D1 we have Andorra first who is one of those uh, teams that get their kit from Macron in a new kit deal with UEFA and I gotta say they got a um, pretty interesting uh, home jersey reminds me of the one we've seen for Cyprus um, same design it's just in red with uh, blue here I don't necessarily like the color that's a little bit wider on the one side at least it looks like it from this picture it, uh, I have to look at match footage to really ver verify that um, but that's one part that I don't like but I like that they use all the nation's colors you have the red base you have the yellow tail which is uh, blue on the back you have the same thing on the sleeves and then you have a little bit blue around there um, also the logo is yeah it's not great but I think it looks nice uh, actually a nice job overall Better even is the away jersey, which is, yeah, it's blue, so I'm gonna like it anyway. But I even like the style better. I especially like the color that has the Andorra flag in here. Uh, and then it's all blue. There's only on the inside of the sleeves a little bit red, on the inside of the collar is a little bit of yellow. Uh, so really like that one. Now, um, the next two teams we're gonna do in one picture. And I'm going to start with Kazakhstan because I only have, uh, so we're not going exactly alphabetically, but uh, <laughs> it just fits that way here. Um, I should be Georgia next, but I'm going to do Kazakhstan because I haven't found the Kazakhstan away jersey. So we're going to look at the home jersey, which is like the Sweden jersey that I'm wearing today. And by the way, there is no relation. I don't have any of the League D uh, nations um so I decided I just wear what I wear and I just pulled my new Sweden jersey and there was not, not much thought behind it. Now I see that Kazakhstan has a similar jersey. Um, and what's notable here is that although this is an Adidas template, they have uh, these slanted stripes, uh, pinstripes, which actually make for a very interesting accent. So I really like that one, to be honest. Uh, it's not a bad uh, look overall. It's better than most of the other Adidas shirts that we have seen um, at the World Cup and so on. So really nice look. And I've said it in a video um, a few days ago that I actually think for the lower level, especially uh, former Soviet teams, Adidas made quite some nice uh, jerseys. So that Kazakhstan jersey, I like a lot. Let's go to the Georgia one. Uh, this is the Georgia away jersey, I think. Well, let's... Yeah, I think Georgia plays at home in white. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I uh, at first I would have assumed that, but then I remembered that now nah, they play in red at home. Maybe this is the home jersey. I honestly don't know. I remember Georgia in white, but maybe I was completely wrong. Maybe it was Austria that played in white and Georgia played in red. So let's say this is the home jersey. And from what I can tell, it's the Condivo template in Adidas. Uh, red with black uh, shoulder stripes that uh, end here and then just red sleeves there's not much too much added on there but it doesn't look bad either i actually like the crest for georgia it's the georgian cross and then the four soup uh, extra crosses uh the round is maybe not great uh but i think it fits very well on there also the kazakh uh, logo has the eagle from the kazakh flag it's also really nice looking Overall, I think this is also a nice shirt. It's nothing special. So if I would give this a rating, and I, would, I have not thought about ratings now, this would not go higher than six stars, uh, the Georgia, the Kazakhstan would go a little bit higher. But it is a decent shirt, and that's what uh, counts 
in my book. And if you look now at the white Georgia uh, jersey, it's actually special because uh, at first it looks like the home kit and I have to see the home kit maybe closer. Maybe the home kit has a similar uh, pattern, but it has these stripes that are just little black pinstripes that go down and make this shadow pattern. This is not really a shadow pattern. Very, very interesting um, look for Georgia that Adidas con conjured up. I'm not sure about the black stripes. I think this should have been red. Honestly, you can leave the numbers black, but I think the rest should have been red. Uh, especially since your flag is white with a red cross on it. So therefore, uh, I'm a little bit not sure about the black. Uh, same goes for actually the home jersey. Uh, why not make them uh, white? Why, why do you use the black? But maybe they could have done something similar to the, uh, to the away jersey. The home jersey just has the black shoulder stripes. Everything else is in white. Just flip the colors white and red and I think it would look a little bit more interesting. That jersey needs a little bit more red. And then we're already at the last team in this group who also has a very interesting Adidas uh, shirt. It's the template with the side stripes and it is in this dark red that Latvia is known for, which looks actually quite interesting and uh, gives them their own identity. I don't know too many teams that play in such a dark red, um, at least as a standard color. Yes, Portugal sometimes plays in a darker red, but as a classic color. I think the classic color for Portugal is still a bright red. So really like that one. It is very simple, but then it has off center of the color and just a little bit of the crest, it has those five stars. Very interesting pattern. Very, very, very interesting pattern. Absolutely love it and the white stripes on the side. Again, um, this kit is a little bit more special than most other Adidas kits. Here I even have a view from the back where I think there's a little crest on the uh, back and other than that it's uh, the typical Adidas style but yeah I would say Latvia also got really nice kits so you know League D might not be the highest level of soccer but they're interesting shirts and I said it in my videos on the Nations League League D is where it's at this is the reason why the Nations League uh, exists and uh, for those nations I'm so happy that they have now more or less level competition well let me know what you thought about these jerseys I showed you today. Uh, I really like them. There is no outstanding one. Maybe the Andorra away jersey uh, is the one that stands out. Well, even the Latvia um, home jersey. I don't have the away jersey, unfortunately. If I see it somewhere, I will, of course, uh, make another video on that. But yeah, those are interesting kids. Let me know what you thought about these. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon with the next group. Bye.